Hello and welcome to another video. Today we will be having a look at how to complete a standard square meter takeoff in Build Exact. And what I mean when I say standard is that it is the most commonly used way of measuring uh, square meters off of a plan in Build Exact, with alternatives to this being uh, pitched square meter takeoffs and also vertical square meter takeoffs, both of which we have separate videos for, so be sure to check those out. So as we're looking at the standard uh, square meter takeoffs, we'll also have a look at how to draw deductions, as well as some tips and tricks to make this process easier for you along the way. All right, so to demonstrate how to do a square meter takeoff in Build Exact, I'm in an estimate at the moment, and I'm just gonna scroll down to my bricklayer category because I'm gonna use bricks as a bit of an example. <clears throat> I'm gonna add a line item and I'm just gonna call it uh, bricks. And before I jump into the takeoff itself, uh, one thing that I do like to do is to fill in the unit of measurement column, which will inform Build Exact about what kind of takeoff uh, I'm going to be doing. Essentially, we're going to click on this button, the takeoff tool here, and it's going to throw us into our plan so that we can start completing the measurement. And I just want to point out what happens when I don't enter the unit of measurement. Build Exact will basically say, oh, okay, you want to do a takeoff? Well, what kind of takeoff do you want to do? And it'll uh, provide you the four options that we have. In order to skip this step, <clears throat> I can simply put square meters or M2 in the unit of measurement column and then hit my takeoff tool from here. And Build Exact will understand that we are doing a square meter takeoff. Now, um, before we get started, I just wanted to point out what this could be used for. Uh, there's a lot of great applications for doing a square meter takeoff. It's uh, appropriate for paint, uh, wrap, cladding, floor covering, ceiling plaster, render. These are some of the most common applications. And uh, yeah, it's it's utilized quite heavily throughout uh, estimating on uh, Build Exact. So now that we're in the plan, uh, we can have a look at the tools across the top. These are all uh, related to completing a square meter takeoff. As you can see in the top right hand corner here, uh, everything is going to be done in square meters. And we also have a, a label here to remind us about what we're actually measuring. I'm gonna go to the elevations page. I'm gonna click and drag to navigate around the page and zoom in using the slider in the top left. And I just wanted to point out the different tools that are available, which are essentially these four up here. So we have a polygon or a multi-sided shape. And essentially you just track around the edges or the corners of an area, clicking back into the green circle to finalize that. Uh, every time you do a measurement in Build Exact, you'll see a label that shows that uh, the value of that particular drawing. And you can even turn these on or off uh, if they get in the way using this Show Hide Labels button. I'm just going to undo that drawing. We also have a rectangular tool, which is quite self-explanatory. Same thing with the circular tool for any circular surfaces or circular areas. And finally, we also have the line tool as well. Now, um, it's a bit counterintuitive that just a line is going to be able to give us a square meter measurement. But as soon as I click it on, you'll see that there's a height box there. So essentially, you can draw lines, particularly on a floor plan, and it will multiply the length of the line by the height in this box. Uh, but we're not specifically looking at that today. There is another video for it, uh, similar to the, the pitch or uh, angled surface tool as well, uh, which can also be used to draw square meters. Um, certainly have a look out for the vertical square meter takeoff video and the pitched surface video as well. Uh, additionally to this, we can change the drawing color by selecting a color prior to completing a drawing, and we can uh, draw deductions as well. Now in this particular example, I'm going to be measuring this uh, brick wall here. So I'm just gonna zoom in to make it a little bit more uh, specific or a little bit more easily viewable. And essentially what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be clicking around the corners of this area uh, to gain a, a square meter measurement for this area. The idea of the polygon tool is that you're clicking around in uh, the corners of the shape. And essentially you wanna be going counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. And once you're finished to actually get this to uh, to be finalized, we just want to click in this green circle to finish that off. Now you'll see the label here is 34.15 square meters. And certainly that's reflected as well in the running total across the top here. Um, 
essentially this will keep a record of the value of all of the drawings that you've done across all your different plans. And certainly now that I've done this brick wall, I could even go down to other areas here uh, and measure additional brick walls. Essentially, we do advise people to uh, mark out all their positive areas to start with and then worry about the deductions later. Uh, but I just wanted to point out that as you go to different areas of this plan or indeed any other pages, uh, the running total up the top will basically add up the values of all the individual drawings. Now you can uh, delete drawings by simply hitting this undo last drawing button, which will remove the last drawing that you've done, or you can click on the label in any drawing uh, and actually remove it from there as well. Cool, so now that we've marked out the, uh, the positive measurements of this brick wall, we can start to consider the fact that uh, windows and doors aren't made of bricks, so we'll likely need to take those out. In order to do that, I'm going to toggle this tool on, the, the deduction tool here, which is essentially a switch. Uh, and now that it's activated, BuildExact understands that we will be uh, subtracting areas from this positive space that we have drawn. Uh, it's really easy to notice a deduction because if I just draw one here, you'll see that it's a gray area and also the drawing label will have a negative space as well. You may have also noticed that the running total up the top um, has been deducted by the value of this drawing, six, just under six and a half square meters. So I'm going to be tracking around the windows and the doors here. I'm using the rectangular tool because it's a bit quicker than using the polygon tool for any rectangular shapes. And now that I have taken out the windows and the doors, you will see that the running total at the top has decreased to 24.16 square meters. And that's essentially the area of the brick wall minusing the windows and the doors. You can see how these labels can sometimes get in the way. So again, always remember you can turn them off if they are impeding your access to clicking on any particular parts of the plan. And uh, essentially, now that I've marked up what I've wanted to uh, measure, I could certainly go around and do the rest of these uh, elevation plans as well. But once you've finished uh, measuring everything up, the idea is that you would then hit accept and save. And this quantity here, 24.16, will then uh, drop into the quantity box on the estimate costing screen, which is essentially why we advise people to complete their takeoffs from the estimate costing screen uh, rather than anywhere else. So that's how to do a square meter takeoff in BuildExact. Uh, as I mentioned before, please keep an eye out for the other takeoff videos to learn more about uh, square meter takeoffs for pitch surfaces, as well as vertical square meter takeoffs as well. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit the need help button and uh, yeah, ask away. You'll be able to get an answer as soon as possible. Thank you.